There are several beautiful museums inside of San Jose, and we explored several that had great national treasures. Artwork made by craftsmen, handmade gold items, beautiful pottery, the type of stuff that really gave you a sense and feeling for the subject matter. Bring in a professional camera though, and it's no dice. You're gonna to have to check all of that gear with the security guard. I was able to handhold my DSLR. They allowed that in on a strap, but no tripod, no monopod. And it was very difficult to get good shots. And every time I took a picture, a security guard would pretty much come over to me and stare at me. Well, this was getting old quick. So I did what every photographer should consider. I pulled out my phone. Now, you might be thinking, a phone, how's that gonna work? But remember, phone cameras have gotten quite good. What I found was that I downloaded some HDR apps to my phone, so it shot a bracketed exposure. This means I captured both an under and overexposed image that were then merged together. Now, most of the HDR apps for phones will actually merge it for you, and you have the option of saving the originals. This means you can go back and post-process on your own or do the HDR conversion and toning right inside of the camera itself. For me, I was using apps like Snapseed from Google, which was really cool to process the images. Before I even got to that though, let me talk to you a little bit about shooting. The phone is super easy to press up into a glass case. I first explored this technique while visiting the Serpent Museum earlier. But in this case, in the beautiful museums here, I saw all sorts of stuff I wanted pictures of. I could simply press the phone up against the case and take a shot. I was quite surprised how good the photos turned out. Remember, you're in a very controlled lighting environment. These absolutely looked almost as good as if I had used a professional macro lens and it had great access to the subject. Instead, I looked like any other tourist using their phone to snap a few pics. And I got some great images that really helped me capture some of the cultural artifacts in the museum. Inside the museum itself, there was a lot of great things to see. And this is a great way to wind down your trip. Remember, get yourself to the capital city and explore, but don't skip out on the historical landmarks. Costa Rica is filled with all sorts of culture and interesting things, and a lot of it is incredibly photogenic.